One of the ways this class will help you become less nervous about public speaking is by teaching you how to properly prepare a speech. When you know how to put a presentation together, you'll be able to begin preparing for your speaking assignment earlier. By not waiting until the last minute to write a speech because you are fully aware of the process of putting a speech together, you'll give yourself more time to become familiar with your speech and practice delivering your speech before you present in class. Knowing what you're doing and preparing early is one of the best things you can do to help cope with speaking anxiety. In this series of videos, we're going to look at the Canons of Rhetoric. The Canons of Rhetoric provide speakers with a set of rules and guidelines that effective speakers use when writing, practicing, and delivering their speeches. This first video looks at the first canon, Invention. The canon of invention provides speakers with guidelines for developing the content of your speech. We're going to spend most of our time in this class working on learning the guidelines presented in the canon of invention. One of the guidelines we learn within the canon of invention is that public speaking is an audience-centered endeavor. We'll learn specific guidelines for formatting a message to a specific audience when we cover chapter 5 on audience analysis. What's important to remember concerning the audience is that we never speak for ourselves. We are always speaking so as to try and affect or change our audience. Because our focus is always on the audience, we consistently need to be considering what the audience needs to know and why they need to know it. When considering the canon of invention, we will also learn guidelines for selecting speech topics and articulating appropriate purposes for speaking. We'll learn more about these guidelines when we cover Chapter 6. Generally speaking, we want to consider topics that meet the assignment and that will be interesting to our audience because public speaking is audience-focused. Additionally, we want to know what, per what our purpose is and make sure that our thesis statement and our claims help us achieve our specified purpose. While learning the guidelines for invention, we will also cover information about how to go about conducting research for a speech. In Chapter 7, Researching Your Speech is an Electronic Culture. We'll learn how to use the library resources to find credible and scholarly resources to help you write your speeches. Then we'll cover Chapter 8, or when we cover Chapter 8, Choosing Supporting Materials. We'll talk about how we can use the resources we located when researching our topics to support the claims we're making in the speech. Within the canon of invention, we are also going to learn guidelines for each type of speech we'll cover this semester. In Chapter 15, we'll learn how to tell effective stories. This can help you complete your storytelling speech, and it will also help you learn how to effectively integrate stories into your informative and persuasive speeches. Stories are one of the easiest ways to connect with an audience, so learning how to tell a story well will help you as you prepare your speeches this semester and beyond. In Chapter 16, we will learn guidelines for informative speaking. In other words, Chapter 16 and its corresponding assignments will teach you how to write a speech that has the aim to teach your audience something. And in Chapter 17, we'll learn the guidelines for persuasive speaking. Persuasive speeches have the goal to get the audience to do something. You might want the audience to think differently, act differently, or even take a new action that they may not have taken before. Finally, within the canon of invention, we will learn about how to make reasoned arguments. In Chapter 18, we'll cover persuasive reasoning methods, which will help you learn how to create logical arguments, emotional arguments, and arguments from credibility. So the vast majority of our time this semester will be spent learning the guidelines outlined in the canon of invention. As we cover these chapters, you will get the chance to develop and practice many different skills outlined that will help you become a stronger public speaker.